So who'd like to live in a modern, affordable greenhouse in Philadelphia? Good, I'm in the right room. Chad was too terrified to get up here and talk to you, so he asked me to do it. So I'm going to tell you the story of the 100K house from its, from its humble beginnings up into where it is now. Basically, this story starts in corporate hell, which is where Chad was prior to his 100K house project idea. He was slaving away under the names that he sent me, such as uh, unhappy marketer, uh, corporate peon, and of course, idiot. Um, making his escape from corporate hell, uh, not exactly like that, but he did get a speeding ticket on the way home. He went back and he tried to think, what, what could I do? What exactly do I want to do with my, uh, my, now, my now new freedom? And so he, he pondered this and, you know, he considered lemonade stand, astronaut, and eventually came upon the idea that maybe because of his interest in architecture and in the way people are generally living to pursue real estate development. Along those lines, he looked around at the stuff that was going on in the country and he was very interested in a lot of the modern, green, exciting stuff that was going on, but was then also very disappointed in the fact that this stuff costs um, a shitload of money. I can say shit because the last guy did. And then he also realized that his inability to afford these houses was not unique, that everybody was in fact sort of scraping for change and he thought, well, what could I do to, to, to fix this? You know, uh, there is a big gap between the the boring structures that all of us own and the, the very fancy structures promoting sexual activity in children that rich people own. And this market gap might be something that, that he could build within. And so thinking that and combining this with the fact that since he was young, him and, both, and me as well had this idea of being thousandaires, not millionaires, not billionaires, thousandaires. Imagine thousands of dollars at your fingertips. With that in mind, with that thousandaire idea in mind, he came up with a concept, the 100K House Project, which is $100 per square foot to build a house, but also to do that green and modern, which is a, which is a brand new thing. You're going to love that. And in this in mind, before he even thought about the feasibility, he, started, he bought the website, he started blogging, he started talking about it. He never knew if this was going to work, if it was even possible, but he did it anyway because that's the kind of a stubborn jackass that he is. And then he decided to assemble a team. His team consists of Interface Studios architects, Build It Green Philly builders, McGrain Associates, the lead guys, and Zero Energy Design, energy modeling people. With this going on, he continued the blogging, and the blogging led to an idea called blog design, instead of build design, blog designer, design builder, whatever it is. This way, you're designing, and as you're designing, you're blogging, and as you're blogging, people are responding and, and building your idea and building your concept as it goes. So, concept started as this, which frankly, I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> this may be a dog house, it may also be some sort of shed, uh, I don't know, a seesaw, I can't tell. But, it moved on through the design blog process to become this, which is the beautiful 100K house, now ready to be built and ready to be, ready to take place, and basically, where this is happening is up in this neighborhood. Uh, both Chad and I live in this neighborhood, we love this neighborhood, and what do you know? There was a lot available in this neighborhood, and a really spectral sort of ghostly hand pointing at that lot, which we felt like people wouldn't mind because the house would be so cool. <laughs> the idea of this house led to an idea of lifestyle, basically. So what we've seen is that people are constantly buying bigger things, bigger cars, bigger houses, bigger, you know, extra value meals, and Throughout this, we feel like we want to change where we're getting people to buy smaller cars, smaller houses, smaller fries. And this is, this is sort of the idea that the 100K house has, has enveloped. And that's led us to, shockingly, lead certification, legitimacy. The idea that the government would actually look at our project and say, this is good. <laughs> Thank you, government. Not only this is good, this is so good that we're going to give it Lead Platinum Certification. What now we were looking at our old slides, we had better slides with other things, but they didn't replace them. But Lead Platinum Certification, folks. There are very few Lead Platinum Certified houses in the entire country. This is gonna be one of the first ones in Philadelphia, and not only that, it's gonna be freaking cheap. <laughs> On top of that, the future of this project, we're envisioning more 100K houses, though some of them will cost 125K, some may 80K, but there'll be lots of houses in the same general price range, and. That's it. Basically, we want to thank Matt Maloney. This is why we put his artwork up here, because he did all the drawings for us. And give him a big round of applause.
with green, ladies and gentlemen. And by Chad's house is... <laughs>